Uh, G'day Fuzzers. So uh, this is how you install a flush head sleeve bolt. So with these bolts you can mount either the, the smaller hole or the bigger hole hangers on there. So in this case it's 10 and 12 millimeters if you're in the States or uh, wherever you use the inches. Um, that'd be half inch and three eighths. Um, but the nicest way is to use the ones of the smaller hole. So in this case, I'll use a 12 millimeter bolt and it has a 10 millimeter, an M10 thread inside. So you disassemb disassemble the bolt, put that through the hanger, and you put the sleeve back on. It's actually going to be pressing against the back of the hanger, not against the washer or the bolt. Stick your nut back on. Uh, and there you have it. So in this in this configuration, that sleeve is going to clamp onto the back of the hanger, not onto the back of the washer. So it's going to really clamp down on that hanger, and it's going to stop it from spinning really nicely. But it does make it slightly trickier to install, uh, which I'll show you in a second. So we've got our hole drill, drilled square into the rock, and it's in a nice spot. So you need to make sure the nut is sort of just touching the sleeve, but not actually so tight that it's uh, expanding the sleeve, because then it won't really go in. Then you hammer it in. So with this style of bolt, you've got to make sure they're hammered all the way in because you can do them up while they're still poking out uh, and the sleeve will engage on the nut. It'll tighten up and it won't go anywhere, but it'll be poking out and that's suboptimal. So it's all the way in. I like to use a socket and a ratchet just to tighten it up nice and quick. And when you're doing this, you want to use nice, smooth motions because if you go too fast and jerky, it can cause, uh, cause the nut to seize. And then this is where it gets a bit tricky. So you're meant to have the hangers at a slight angle. So the direction of the pull is in line with the center of the bolt. But because we're tightening this way, they tend to go off center a little bit. Uh, and that's, that's fine. Um, it just means that sometimes if they go off a little bit too far, you've got to loosen them up put them back in place, or we can stick a carabiner on, pull on it to stop it from turning too much. A little bit more. So that's pretty good, but that's just going by sound. Uh, I'm not sure what that torque is, so let's check with the torque wrench. So for these bolts, the spec sheet says you should torque them to 40 newton meters, which is quite a lot. Uh, so let's see what that actually looks like. Thirty, thirty-four, thirty-six, thirty-seven, and forty. So I don't normally carry a torque wrench around with me. You probably we should at least at first so you can get a feel for how much torque you're looking at um, and then once you're a bit used to it you can probably do away with it everyone does uh, and then just go by the sound so sounds nice and tight should be good scratches later <laughs> 